Weight loss is like a roller coaster. Sometimes you're up and sometimes you're down. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Angie and today we're talking about how to break through a weight loss plateau. And I'm going to share my tips, things that I have recently started doing um, just to get back on my weight loss and fitness journey. If you enjoy weight loss and fitness content, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. So if you've been following me for a while, you know I've been sharing my weight loss journey as well as fitness, what I've been doing and how I've been moving my body. Well, guys, this video is so important because I fell off. I fell off. And I don't say that in a bad way like, oh, I fell off. I'm beating myself up. It really, I mean, weight loss is something that's so personal to each and every person. And I will say that starting a weight loss journey is the first step. And sometimes we get complacent, um, maybe even bored. I, you know, I looked at some of the things I was doing. Um, I felt like I was eating the same meals over and over. Um, and just, I don't know, I just got bored even with the activity I was doing. So I luckily have not gained much weight. I think I've gained like two pounds. But regardless if I gain two pounds, 10 pounds, 12 pounds, 15 pounds, the whole point of this video is just to talk about we all hit a plateau. Things that I'm doing or I have been doing to get over that plateau, I wanted to share with you. Guys. So I've decided to get back to basics. Uh, one of the first things I did was take a look at my earlier videos and the things that I was doing that made me successful on my weight loss journey. Um, but also just the attitude I had. I felt like, um, you know, we all hit a point of stress. And I, you know, one thing about social media, whether it's YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, any of the channels, you really do just see a small part of someone's life. And so I've had a lot of stressors and just stress I was going through. And I just didn't have the same energy, the same, you know, like excitement about getting up, working out, even cooking different meals. And also, even during my cut, I, I took about almost 30 days where I cut. But when I looked back, I realized I didn't even really follow my cut um, the way I should have. The biggest thing I've learned about weight loss is that consistency is key. Um, a weight loss journey is just like anything else. You Consistency, consistency, consistency. And once again, guys, this video is not to, you know, beat myself up or put myself down or if anybody else is going through this. It's really just to say, listen, we all hit a plateau. I think if you talk to most people who have done a weight loss journey or even um, their own fitness journey, you hit a plateau. It's just how do you come out of that? Take a look at your diet. And one of the things that I realized is that I was eating the same foods over and over and over again. And, you know, almost every breakfast was oatmeal. I love oatmeal. But I have gone back to prioritizing protein. No, I am not eating over 100 grams of protein. But I just swapped around my meals. So one of the things that I've started doing is looking at what I'm eating, how much I'm eating, and then um, the window in which I eat. So first of all, before I work out in the morning, I've been snacking on some low um, glycemic fruits, so preferably berries, just to get those carbs in. And sometimes I'll pair it with a cup of bone broth, which has some protein in it. Um, and I'll have that, but sometimes it's just the fruit. 
And that gives me that little bit of energy that I need to be successful um, on my workouts in the morning. Another thing that I've started doing in terms of nutrition and diet, and particularly when it comes to protein is, guys, I'm eating like bowls now for breakfast, like leftover dinner. I'm making sure I have some source of protein, carbs, um, healthy fats, uh, whether that be avocado, um, extra virgin olive oil, um, sometimes coconut oil, but I definitely make sure that I have a balanced plate in the morning. And I found eating leftover dinner for breakfast has been so great for me in the morning, um, particularly after I work out. And it's very um, satiating for me, like literally eating like that now, I go for hours, whereas with my oatmeal, as much as I love oatmeal, I will never give up oatmeal. <laughs> it just wasn't keeping me full. And particularly, you know, when you go into the colder months, your body tends to crave more uh, food anyway. So I found just concentrating on, you know, a nice sustainable breakfast bowl, I feel great. And whatever your diet preference is, um, take a look at the food you're eating, um, how much you're eating. And that's the other thing too. I am, I've cut back uh, on my carbs. I eat carbs, quite a bit of carbs, but instead of maybe a whole cup of rice or quinoa, I'll do three fourths cup or a half a cup, but I still eat carbs. I'm just making sure that my carb ratio can, comes down just a little bit. And once again, guys, this is to boost my weight loss. And so far, I've seen that it has started working for me. And once again, listen to your body. Everyone's body is different. And also the window. I was very focused on not eating after a certain hour and I've gone back to that. And once again, I'm starting to feel like my old self again and I'm definitely starting to see uh, a, a little bit of difference just by um, cutting back that, that window. So for me guys, I, I do 12 hours on, 12 hours off. I used to, um, not eat breakfast, but like I said, I start my mornings with some berries or maybe an apple with a little bit of sunflower butter, like a half an apple, not a full apple with some sunflower butter and hemp seeds, but some sort of fruit um, before my workout. I find it gives me just enough energy. And then for lunch and dinner and also my snacks, um, I, once again, prioritize protein. I have some sort of protein source on my plate, in my bowl, along with carbs, healthy fats. And once again, that has been working for me to get out of this plateau. So definitely take a look at your food and what you're eating and see how just by making little tweaks that can help you get out of your plateau. The next tip I have, guys, is stay hydrated. You'll be surprised, or at least one thing I realized over the, when I started finding like, oh, why I'm retaining more water weight. Um, I'm feeling more bloated. Um, I'm feeling lethargic. A lot of it was I was dehydrated and I could tell with, from my skin, um, my face, um, my body, there are so many ways to tell. And just honestly, guys, I would wake up in the morning so friggin' thirsty. And I'm like, what is going on? Once I started focusing on hydration, increasing my water, I felt so much better. And um, I am a big proponent of coconut water. I love coconut water. It's great for hydration. And I will have some coconut water here and there. Uh, particularly if I do, uh, uh, you know, a very vigorous workout, just like last week, 
I did a uh, strength training workout, but it was just using your body. You could add weights if you wanted to. It was for, it was a 30 minute video. I did sweat after that workout. So I actually had some coconut water and felt great. But guys, I've just been increasing my water. And just from that, I feel so much better. And being dehydrated is another thing that can derail um, your weight loss and even your fitness because guys if you're getting out moving walking hiking you definitely want to make sure you stay hydrated it's just so important for your body um, so important for weight loss goals your fitness goals so that i would say is the second thing take a look at how much water you're drinking next tip for me um or at least one of the things i've done to get over my plateau is move your body and i when i started my channel one of the things i was doing was i was walking a lot and i found i started like decreasing my walking guys it was that i said no 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 I mean, you read and see so many stories, videos, whether it's on YouTube or on Instagram or TikTok, wherever, people have walked their way to weight loss. I mean, walking is just so beneficial. So I have put walking back at the top of my movement. The other thing that I've done that I'm very excited about is I signed up for a... Um, hiking club and we are doing a hike uh coming up in right after thanksgiving and also believe it or not a couple of hikes in december and um hikes in january and february and so i am planning to be outdoors walking hiking just moving as long as there's no like major snowstorm or ice or anything where i can be injured i'm getting back outdoors and walking and um one of the things that i also am doing is ordering new um fitness workout equipment um things that can aid me on my walk so i definitely ordered um some arm weights um which you can put on your arm or your ankle and probably not in the beginning or if i do it i would just do it around my neighborhood maybe just you know work your way up no i'm not ordering this and <laughs> gonna put on weights and get outside and do you know a 30 minute walk and injure myself but just little by little maybe for five the first five minutes of my walk or walk for 10 minutes with the weights on my arms pumping my arms and then you know come back home and take them off or maybe i'll start off just doing walking workouts in the house with them on just to get used to them just to build up that strength um but yeah i want to add some sort of weights when i walk um just to build strength and help with um you know my tendons, my joints, my bones like to help strengthen. Um, speaking of which, I'm definitely adding more strength training. And for me, that's going to be strength training, uh, fitness videos. Um, and also, um, I know I had shared with you guys, I was looking for a gym and just the cost has just gotten astronomical. So what I have budgeted for myself is to do some drop-ins, like maybe take a class once or twice a month, um, which I think will be great because then you're in with an actual instructor um, or if I find a class or if I find it, or if I find a gym where I can just take a class, uh, just come in for that class and that class, only a strength training class, I'm going to sign up for that. But yeah, I'm definitely adding strength training in. But also, guys, there are other things you can do. Dancing, um, going outside, like riding a bike. If you're in a climate where you can be outdoors on a bike, um, you know, all year round, um, bike riding, um, skiing, even cleaning around your house, gardening, just move your body. Um and but on the flip side of that 
my next tip would be definitely to focus on rest and repair. Um, one thing I noticed uh, when I hit my plateau was taking a rest day. I think once I hit the plateau, I was just like, oh my God, I just have to keep moving and keep moving and keep moving. And I was moving every single day. But I also realized um, to stay successful on your weight loss journey and even a fitness journey, you have to take some time to rest and repair. And I have, you know, I'm doing one, maybe two days a week where it will just be dedicated to stretching, resting on those days. I will always get out and move, like whether it's walking to the grocery store, maybe just taking a walk around the block, but not any heavy uh, focus exercise, but just having a rest day, a day to relax, to stretch my muscles, I mean, <laughs> to stretch, um, and maybe even use that time to even um, get some extra sleep um, because that is also important. And of course, you know, this video would not be complete if I didn't talk about sleep. Um, one of the things when you hit a plateau is taking a look at, you know, are you getting enough sleep? Um, and in the beginning of my weight loss journey, when I started this channel, I wasn't, but I set up a successful evening routine and just fell off from that. And so now I am back to my evening routine. Um, and that, and it's more than just putting on the blue blocking glasses. It's really signaling, doing things that signal to your body, hey, it's time to get some sleep, it's time to relax. And so I have gotten back into my evening routine, which by the way, I will do an evening routine video. If that's something you guys wanna see, just comment below and let me know. But yeah, I've gotten back to my evening routine and now I say within 10 minutes, maybe 15 minutes at most, when I hit the pillow, I'm knocked out. And guys, I, it would take me like an hour to fall asleep, but um, I had set up this routine, fell off, and now I'm back on. Um, it took a couple of weeks, um, but it's a way of signaling to my body, okay, it's time for us uh, to go to sleep. Guys, those are my tips and things that I'm going to be implementing to overcome and break through my weight loss and fitness plateau. But I will end by saying that you know, I feel like I lost focus of my health and wellness goals, and that's okay. Um, and I went back and looked at why I started my channel, and it really was to share with all of you my health and wellness goals with hopes that some of the things I'm doing will help some of you. And I hope this video today is helpful to you as well. Yeah, it was important for me to share my journey with you all and all the things that I'm doing, eating just for my health and wellness. You know, I feel like it's very important to look out for yourself because at the end of the day, who wants to be sick? I don't or in and out of hospitals or on so many medications. So guys, it's happened, but for me, I want to age gracefully. <laughs> so yeah. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, once again, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Um, hit the subscribe button, share, and comment below and let me know if you've hit a plateau and some of the things you're doing to get over the plateau. And yeah, I look forward to seeing you in my next video.